Do you help people troubleshoot their computer problems? Citrix GoToAssist offers a secure cloud-based solution for IT and customer support professionals to provide live and unattended remote support to their employees and customers working from any computer or mobile device. For a 30-day free trial, simply visit GoToAssist.com. Nintendo? Is that all you needed to know? Just, just the company name, Nintendo? When I hear that word, the, the name of the company, I, I uh, feel nostalgic inside because I remember the first time I ever saw an NES. It was at a neighbor's house. They had it before we did. And it, uh, it was Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I, I will be the first to uh, admit that I, I never actually beat Super Mario Brothers. The first Nintendo game I ever beat on the NES was the original Legend of Zelda. And then uh, the next one uh, was uh, The Adventure of Link, the sequel. Uh, I also ended up beating a, a variety of other games, uh, or you know, running all the way through Kid Icarus, Metroid, a lot of the original NES uh, games, the classics, really. So Nintendo has a patent that hints at an official Game Boy emulator for mobile phones or mobile devices. This is something that you could do now if you have a ROM that you've attained uh, and an emulator that might run on your device. And it's it's not something that you can't do because you can do it. People are doing it now. It's just not official. And it's, it's not uh, sanctioned. So it's a gray area, let's admit. And I think everybody can be fine with that if Nintendo had an alternative. And I've long argued that Nintendo could probably make more money in selling its games, its intellectual property, all of its characters and everything on iOS and Android devices. They could probably make more money doing that than they've been able to make with the Wii. Uh, I, I think they've got far more value in uh, the Link character, uh, the Mario character, any one of the Nintendo char uh, characters. Uh, that's something that I'm excited about because maybe Nintendo sees the writing is on the wall and they're willing to kind of inch forward, or if you're not American, centimeter forward. I was trying to, I was trying to you know, be balanced for everybody. Uh, I believe Nintendo should do this. I, I think it would be great. Uh, you might have noticed that on deals.lockernome.com, we still have a special where you can get a controller that looks like the uh, original NES controller. I have uh, I have a game controller in here somewhere, I think. Is it here? Hang on. Oh, man. No, but I, I still have my uh, adapter for the Nintendo DSi, which I no longer have and never really used. Hang on. There's a Bluetooth controller that looks like the original NES controller. This is a USB adapt, uh, adapted uh, NES controller. This is obviously not Bluetooth. Uh, I just love this controller. I know it doesn't have all the fancy buttons that you might expect on newfangled controllers, but I'm a simple guy. I love pixel games and uh, games that aren't necessarily refined in terms of graphics quality or refined in terms of uh, audio score. Uh, but those are the classics to me. That's what I grew up on. And so I would love to see Nintendo uh, not just survive, but thrive in ecosystems apart from its own. And I think it could do very, very well. Uh, could you imagine being able to get uh, just about any possible Game Boy game for your iOS device or your Android device? I, I think people would jump at that chance. And whether you would you know, use on-screen controls or uh, an external controller, and by the way... <laughs> If I were you, I would absolutely recommend an external controller. Uh, and if you're looking for one, we've got the discount on deals.lockernome.com, right now at least. Uh, I think we'd all do it. I'd do it. But then again, I I'm the guy that uh, is already eyeballing the Atari Flashback 5. I didn't realize they had a 5. I got the 4. I reviewed that last year. Uh, love the Atari 2600. Um, I, you know, I, I jumped when I was able to, to get uh, Activision games on iOS, the classics, uh, the, the same thing with Atari, uh, you know, I'd be the same way with Intellivision, any of the games that I grew up with, simple games, I, I just, I, I'm an 8-bit guy, 
you're never going to change that. This is just what I love. It's what I appreciate. Those are the types of games that I latch on to. Uh, I guess that makes me somewhat of a classic gamer, although I wouldn't consider myself a classic gamer. So, uh, I'm not a, I don't want to, I don't want to get anybody upset by using the label gamer. I like classic video games or that type of style. Right now, I'm currently addicted to, uh, uh, Crossy Road? No, hang on. God, I see the splash screen. Yeah, Crossy Road. I have uh, 38 out of 50 characters unlocked, and I highlighted it in the uh, vlog the other day. I'm not going to... actually. Okay, fine. I'm going to show it to you right now. I won't... I won't... Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I was recording the podcast, and I unplugged the uh, the microphone. I'm back, though. <laughs> I shouldn't have unplugged the microphone. Uh, all right. Let me actually launch into Crossy Road here. And I will play Celeb. This is the first character that my wife Diana saw. She said, oh, Celeb, and I hadn't unlocked it yet. And basically, it's like Frogger. It's Infinite Frogger. Uh, only it's way more interesting and way more fun than Frogger. And my current top score is 221, I believe. Yeah, top 221. So I'm trying to top that. I love that game. That's me. And those are the types of games that I would love to see on iOS. And possibly updated to be touch optimized, uh, but even if not, if Nintendo brought those uh, those games over to iOS and Android, you're never going to hear me say that's a crazy idea. I think it's crazy that they don't. Congratulations to this week's recipient of the Intel Android tablet. He followed directions and told Chris what his favorite productivity app was. This week, if you want our next Intel Android tablet, tweet Chris your favorite creativity app and be sure to include the hashtag Intel Android and tag Chris Perillo at the end of the tweet. That's at Chris Perillo at the end of the tweet.